In this video, I'm going to be setting up Eclipse to allow me to build, deploy, and debug code on a BeagleBone Black. My host computer is Ubuntu Linux 1204, the long term support version. I'm running Eclipse Kepler, which I've installed manually, although you can just use the one from the repository, which is Indigo. On the target board, I've got what is, at the time I wrote this video, the latest version of the Angstrom distribution, supported by BeagleBoard, and uh, that's the version from September 2013. Okay, so I've already installed Eclipse and the C development tools, uh, which are freely available, and I've got my BeagleBone plugged in, and if I ping it, 192.168.7.2, we can see the network connection is working fine. All right, okay, with that, I'm now going to set up, and I'm going to do the initial setup tasks first. These, these are one-off, which you only have to do once. Okay, so I run Eclipse, and uh, the first thing I need to do is ensure that um, the right packages are installed. Now, I've already got one called the Remote System Explorer installed. So if I do install new software and we go to the Kepler repository. Now, if you're on Indigo, it would be the Indigo repository. Now, the, the packages I'm interested in are under mobile and device development. So it's the cross compiler support and remote launch. And you could put others on as well. Okay, we click next, next, accept the license agreement, finish, and that will install the packages. Once that's done, it'll ask to do a restart, which you say yes, and now Eclipse will restart and load those two packages in. Okay, so as I said, I've got the C development tools already installed. I've got the C, C++ perspective open and uh, I want to create a new project, cross compile, deploy and debug seamlessly. And uh, this works once set up really well. So the first thing is to create a new project. So file, new, C project. And you'll notice something else now if you've used this before. I'm going to use the Hello World and C project, but now we've got the option to have cross GCC as a tool chain. So for Intel, we'd use Linux GCC, and for my ARM distribution, it's going to be cross GCC. I'm gonna call it demo one. Click next. Um, fill in your uh, basic settings. That's okay. I'm not, I could go into advanced settings now and do the next step, but um, I'm gonna skip that for now. Now this one's important. This is the cross compiler prefix. Now for my compiler that I'm using with Angstrom, I'm using ARM Linux GNU EABI. And uh, that's come out of the Ubuntu repositories, the cross compiler for ARM. Um, you might, if you're using Ubuntu on the BeagleBone Black, use the hard float version of that as well. But for this one, I'm just using the straight cross compiler. Right, click finish. And that prefix will be put on the front of GCC, etc. Now, there's one issue I haven't resolved at the moment, and that is getting the dynamic loader um, on the target and the host to be compatible. So what I'm going to do is force static linking in my, in my project. So no shared libraries. So under C, C++ build, settings, under cross GCC linker, and put miscellaneous there, and the linker flag is minus static and that's my project set up I could save that and build it and we can see that uh, if we uh, resize this a little bit on the console you can see that the cross linker and cross compiler have been invoked okay so that's now built and cross well, cross compiled and linked uh, the, the Hello World executable for the BeagleBone Black, but now we need to deploy and debug it. 
So to do that, I would recommend you use the following approach. So under Window, Show View, Other, Remote Systems, and then again, just double click Remote Systems. Now, by default, it appears down here. I like it up with the Project Explorer, so I'm going to drag it with the left mouse key. And when I see the little green vertical bar there, I let go. What this plugin does is let me browse the BeagleBone Black and log in and create a secure shell connection to it without leaving the Eclipse environment. So click Define a New Connection, SSH only. Now, by host name, it's actually referring to the target. So 192.168.7.2. Connection name, I'm just going to call that BBB for BeagleBone Black. And something a bit more verbose in here. Uh, verify host name, I'm going to have switched off. Next, um, I think I just take the default for all of these. Next, 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 and finish. OK, so now we're in a position we can actually browse the root user's home folder or the root folder on the target board. So if we go in here, the first thing it'll do is challenge you for a user ID and password, which on Angstrom is root and just blank for the, uh, for the password. Now, every time you restart Eclipse, you need to go through this process so that a connection is established, this connection BBB, and logged in. If you don't do that, then obviously deployment isn't going to work in the next step. OK, so there is the home folder of the root user on the BeagleBone Black. And uh, I can copy files and paste them on, in, onto my target, etc., if I wish to. But I'm not actually going to bother doing that. The other thing that's really handy, go to SSH Terminals, right click and go Launch Terminal. And it'll log you in automatically. And we can do root um, user administration from there if we wish. OK, so I've got that set up and they're side by side. So there's my project um, and that's the remote system. Now I'm going to hit Build again, make sure that everything is fine. I've got no errors. Good. So this is the uh, the clever bit, if you like. It's the remote deploy and debug. And it's very seamless once it's up set up. So if we click Run, Debug Configurations, on the left here, we see C, C++ Remote Application. Now you can either click this button here for New Launch Configuration or just double click. Now if it works correctly, you'll see this populated and this. If that doesn't happen, and I don't know if this is a bug or something I'm not doing properly, um, I would delete this by right clicking and deleting it, um, rebuild the code and do this step again and that usually solves the problem. Okay, with this in mind then, assuming everything is uh, appearing to work fine, we should see the um, the application name here, Demo01. Now, I'm going to copy that. In here, if we scroll down, connection should say BBB. That's the connection I set up just now. Now, this one is where the actual application will be deployed. So click Browse. If the connection is working, I'm going to put it in the demo folder on the BeagleBone Black. One more thing you need to do forward slash and the application name. If you forget that bit, it won't deploy. Under the debugger tab, and this is critical, if you haven't installed this one already, you need to, gdb minus multi arc. That's a multiple architecture version of gdb that works really well. These settings I'm leaving alone. And there's one more which I find makes it all that more seamless. If you go to Common, and then here, Display in Favorites menu, click Debug. Apply. Close. So then every time you make a change to your code, all we would do would be to save it, 
build it and under the debugger toolbar here it will be listed demo 01 debug clicking that will deploy start the remote debugger and you can just debug in line in Eclipse say yes to the debug perspective and there you go remote debugging click this button here or F8 to run to the end and back to the C++ C perspective okay so that's the first time through subsequently if we add another project it's a similar process hello old ANSI C project cross GCC I'll call this demo 02 next and we can pretty much rattle through this because as you'll see the ARM Linux GNU EBI prefix is remembered and there for you the only thing that I have to do um, is to remember to set the linker flag to static we build now this is an important step that you do actually build before the next one and then we go back into here run debug configurations you see the previous one is still here that's good double click this again and it should create one for your second application in your workspace again same routine now this time it's gone to local it should be BBB browse I'm going to stick it in the same folder okay not forgetting the executable name on the end the debugger tab will have to be changed again multi arc and once more I'm going to click under common the debug option apply close so now we have two projects and under the debug menu we can debug one or the other so let's pick the second one it will deploy and run and we can single step through it seamlessly